Hello, and welcome back to Network Chuck. In my previous video, I covered how to set up a hunt group in Call Manager 8, 9, 10, and it's even applicable to 11 now that that's been released. Last time I promised that I would show you how to set up a hunt group login and logout button. What is a hunt group login logout button? Basically, this gives your users the ability to simply press a button on their phone that will either log them in or log them out of the hunt group. So the user can be at their desk, they don't want to be bothered by a hunt group, but they still want to receive calls, so they won't put themselves in the D&D, so they can log themselves out of the hunt group. They won't receive calls in the hunt group, but will still receive calls on their line, and there you go. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to do this on a physical Cisco phone. Um, the particular model I'm using will be a 7821, a newer SIP model. Um, it'll be the same configuration for most models, so you will not be uh, tax for using a 7960 or a 7940, 41, 42, what have you, you got the gist. Also do this uh, in, in the soft phone client in Jabber. Um, I will create another video to show you how to do that. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a lot different and I will uh, definitely show you later on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is log into Cisco Unified CM Administration. Uh, once logged in, we'll go find this Phone, we want to add the phone log or the hunt group login logout button to. So just go to device, phone, and uh, we'll find your phone. My phone is here. Uh, it is connected via Expressway, the new MRA option. So I'll cover that later on. We'll go ahead and click there. You can see right now my phone uh, is set up with a primary line and then also a, uh, a secondary line, if, which, which is optional. Okay, so now that we are at the phone screen, um, go ahead and at the top left, right here under the association information, select modify button items. What we're going to do is change the buttons on the phone itself. And it'll give you the scary message that says unsaved changes may be lost. Continue, you'll be fine. Unless you made any changes, it won't matter. Now, if you're like me or if you're like most people, go ahead and click cancel. Go over here, save your changes just in case. In case you don't remember if you made changes or not. And go ahead and select modify button items. It'll give you that every time. Select OK. And it'll load the other screen. It'll hide it for some reason, uh, for me most of the time. So just go back over here, open the screen up, and here we have the button items. Okay, so now that we have our phone button menu here, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be replacing one of the lines on your phone with the Hunt Group Logout Login button. That means we'll have to remove one of your lines. Now, if you have a one line or a two line phone or a four line phone or a six line phone, um, it's all different. So for this particular phone, I only have two lines. I want to keep my primary line because that's going to be the line they're using to actually answer phone calls. Um, the secondary line isn't configured, so I will go ahead and select this line, and what I have to do is remove the line from the button association. So I'll select the line here, and I will go ahead and scoot it right on over. So now it is gone. So now that I've freed up my phone, uh, one of my phone lines, um, I can now add another button to this configuration. Now notice for the 7821, I have all these speed dial line buttons associated, and it's a fixed feature, so I can't even touch these. If I try to remove it, and then click save, it gets really mad at me. So I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to add that right back. Um, but what I can do now, and this will be common on most phone models, is go find the hunt group logout button here. So when you, once you've found that, go ahead and select it. And we will associate it with our current phone by selecting the side arrow right here. So go ahead and associate that. And bam, now we have it on there. Sometimes, uh, depending on where you have your menu selected, it might be added to the bottom. In that case, I'll just go ahead and simulate that for you. You'll just want to use these directional arrows here to move it into the right place. So. For this example, we want to have it right underneath our line one. And once we have that there, we can go ahead and click save. Oh, it got mad at me because I did not put number three back where it needs to be. 
see it's very, very picky. Um, so now, again, I will go ahead and click save. And that's it. Now, if you notice, um, my window's still open. Um, no worries, just click close. And you go back to the home screen here, you've got your phone. Um, you notice you have your new Hunt Group logout button item here instead of your uh, directory number line. Um, you do not have to click save again. This is saved. Uh, clicking that other window and clicking save saved your phone's configuration. Now, if for whatever reason you were like me and you think, oh, what if it didn't save? Well, you can go ahead and just click save. <laughs> not a big deal. You are good to go. Okay, so as you can see here, we do have our nice new Hunt Group logout button. Um, this is phone specific. So if you were hoping to have the user uh, give the ability for the user to log out of one particular hunt group they are configured for and stay logged into another, you can't do that. If they select the button one time, it's going to take out the entire phone and any line they have. So effectively, that user will not be logged into a hunt group if they select that button on their phone. So as you can see here, I've got my phone. Uh, Mr. Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Any Walking Dead fans out there? It's coming on tonight. Um, so I've got my phone. If you want to go ahead and apply this configuration and have it going right away, just click Apply Config. Click OK. And we'll see that bad boy added to my phone in just one second. Here we go. And... Oh, sorry, I was just changing my ringtone to bring the backlit display up. And there she is. Now you can see right under my new directory number, or my directory number, is a hunt group login logout option. Very pretty, very nice. Now you can see that if, uh, if I'm Mr. Rick Grimes and I am taking calls, and suddenly there's a zombie at the door, um, obviously I don't want to be taking calls in my hunt group because I will not be available. I need to go take care of that zombie. So what I can do is just press my hunt group button. Bam! You are logged out of the hunt group. And I'll stay up there for a second. So you can see now that the button, if your phone uh, supports light up buttons, actually um, the lamp, the lamp will go out uh, if it's if they're not logged in. And then the lamp will come back on when you log back in, as I'll demonstrate now. Oh, Rick Grimes, you are signed back in. You have successfully decommissioned that zombie. You stabbed it right in the brain, stabbed it right in the brain, and you are now logged in and ready to take calls. You're good to go. So if you stuck with me through this short little video, I showed you how to put a hunt group login and logout button on the user's phone. This is fantastic for users who want or for companies who want to have this sort of call center atmosphere without buying contact center and they want to give their users the ability to log out of hunt groups or log back into hunt groups right there on their phone very simple very easy uh, let me know if you have any questions um, put some comments below um, give me suggestions on what else to talk about um, follow me on twitter at network chuck uh, go to my website, my blog. I have this all in writing and text uh, in, a, in a nice little format. If you prefer going kind of reading along, that's kind of what I prefer most of the time. So just go to networkchuck, uh, networkchuck.com and you'll find all my good stuff there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching Network Chuck and I'll catch you guys later.